It's a centuries-old tradition, and not for the faint-hearted. I'm getting a bit excited now. I don't want anyone to touch their honey. Regular hive inspections are necessary to see if it's healthy that the queen is alive, allowing the colony to grow. With up to 50,000 bees in each box, examinations can take several hours and can be labour intensive. They're such a magnificent creature. Collectively, these little creatures are so important to the survival of our planet, to economies. I just think that we, we should be protecting them. See, the honeybee is not a mere honey producer. One third of all the world's food crop production, like almonds and avocados, depend on pollinators. Pollination from insects, mainly bees, contribute up to $181 billion worth to the agri-food industry annually. But whole colonies are being ravaged by diseases and the use of pesticides and fungicides in farming. Last year in the United States, beekeepers lost 43% of their colonies. The good news, though, is that smart bee technology could be coming to the rescue. High up in the Wicklow Mountains, about an hour south of Dublin in Ireland, Simon Lynch has been part of a testing ground for new emerging smart bee technology over the last two years. And there is our queen. A small internet connected sensor has been placed under the roof of the hive where it measures temperature, humidity, sound and movement. We've got beehives here in Ireland, in the UK, in South Africa, over in the USA. And what we've been doing for the last two years is collecting data from these beehives, building a giant beehive database. Irish startup Apers Protect claims that sensors can help reduce losses and improve the health of honeybees worldwide by alerting beekeepers immediately if there's a problem in the hive. All of that data comes back to us in Cork in Ireland. Uh, we uh, apply our, our machine learning techniques and our artificial intelligence all there together. And that gets automatically sent back to the beekeeper through, uh, we've got a web interface. We also do text and email alerts. The technology allows beekeepers like Simon to remotely monitor their hives so that they can more quickly and more easily check whether there is a problem. You might want to look up at hive number three. Um, and take a look into that one because that one seems to be um, uh, not growing the most. It's, it's kind of declining at the moment, so that's actually going to need some attention. Okay, yeah. it will do. It's hoped that this technology will allow commercial beekeepers to upscale their business, ensuring more pollination and more food for a growing global population. See, pollination is one of the most important biological processes on our planet. When bees go out to forage, they collect nectar and pollen to bring back to their colony. As it lands on a flower, a bee gets covered in pollen, a dust-like substance produced by the flower that contains the male reproductive materials. As the bee moves from flower to flower, the pollen falls off, hopefully dusting the female reproductive structure. That fertilizes the plant's reproductive organs, kick-starting the production of seeds and new plants. I think this will give me the possibility of increasing my apiary and um, producing more honey and, for my part, helping the environment more in terms of pollination. Essentially, they're going to be able to keep uh, many, many more hives for the same amount of workers, the same amount of spend on things like feed and treatments, and they're going to be able to dramatically increase the amount of pollination and honey output that they've got in their operation. Beekeeping may be an historic tradition, but smart technology hopes to ensure it has a fruitful future. <laughs>